Welcome to Leave.com. I'm Kate, and today is May 5th, 2010. High debt and high budget deficit countries like Spain and Portugal are moving into the spotlight as potentially needing bailout as well. The two countries have already had their credit ratings cut by Standard & Poor's last week, and Portugal now sits on the Moody's chopping block, as the rating agency has the country on a standby for a downgrade. Though the country was able to rise to raise 500 million euros in a Treasury bills offering today, it will pay about four times higher interest than a similar offering last March, highlighting just how far the confidence in Portuguese sovereign debt has tumbled in just a year's time. The bond yields for the other pigs countries have been fast rising as well, signaling a deterioration of confidence in their situation. The sharp decline in the euro has brought the common eurozone currency to the 14th month low. Fears that the problems associated with the deeply indebted European countries will spread are real. The world is still reeling from the liquidity crisis and the ensuing contraction its financial markets suffered mere 18, a mere 18 months ago. It appears that central bankers and governments will do everything they can they can, not to let another systemic event happen, but their powers are constrained, especially in the EU, where there isn't a power of a last resort. There are islands of prosperity, however, even among these concerns about long-term economic growth. One of them is Australia. This week, its central bank raised its benchmark overnight cash rate yet again to 4.5%. We take it as a sign that its officials don't believe European credit problems will spread as far as Australia. Australia has now increased borrowing costs by 1.5 percentage points since October in reaction to fast economic rebound and accelerating inflation. Central Bank Governor Glenn Stevens stated that borrowing costs have now returned to average levels, suggesting that he believes adequate monetary tightening has occurred and the and the pace of credit tightening could slow down going forward. Thank you for viewing, and we look forward to seeing you next time.